So in the last class we have discussed about plastics and the types that were the thermosetting plastic and the thermoplastic. Now we'll discuss about some important types of plastic which we use in our daily life. You all know that we use the polythene bags, the bottles of various containers like medicine bottles and the ketchup bottles, the cold drink bottles. Uh, except these we use some uh, bottles for storing acids, bleaches etc. So now these are different types of uh, plastics we use for uh, different type of uses like uh, it depends on our need for which reason we want that plastic then according to that we have to choose the quality of plastic we used whether it is a thermosetting plastic or a thermoplastic according to that. So we will today discuss about some important types of plastic and their uses. So plastics and uses. Now the first category we are discussing about is the melamine. Melamine is a thermoplastic or thermosetting. Can any one of you tell me? Now obviously melamine is a plastic but which plastic? Melamine it is a thermosetting plastic. Now thermosetting you all know what does thermosetting plastic mean? That thermosetting plastic is the plastic which cannot be remelted or reshaped. Once given a shape, it remains in that shape and if it is melted, then it will not be able to give any shape again, which it was further. So like it is a type of plastic which does not reshape and remelt. The next thing about melamine is how it is formed. It is formed by the condensation of two monomer units. That is a heterocyclic triamine and a formaldehyde. So it is formed by condensation. The two monomers which the two monomers which are used are heterocyclic triamine and formaldehyde. Now the word condensation. Condensation means the addition of the two monomers with the formation of the polymer and a small byproduct that is like water, alcohol, or etc. So this is a condensation reaction of two monomers. The monomer here are heterocyclic triamine and formaldehyde. So basically you do not have to worry about the structure and all. Up to class 8 we only want to know what the monomer units are. Okay. So melamine is formed by the condensation of heterocyclic triamine and formaldehyde. Now it is a cross linked product. What do we mean by cross linked product? Cross link means linking between. Linking between the layers. How it is, we'll just see. The layers are arranged in this manner. Okay. And these are soft type. Soft melamine means they are not bound to each other. When these layers are interconnected, then they form a strong, strong polymer type and it is called as a cross-linked polymer. So melamine is a cross-linked polymer. These are the way which we can show that how a polymer can. The next property of melamine is that it is hard, hard and highly polished. What do we mean by this highly polished? Now highly polished means it is smooth and is, it has a good shine in it. So it is used at such purposes where we require finishing, good finishing, highly polished finishing and the material should be hard. So some important uses now we'll discuss then we'll come to know about the reason why we have used melamine. So uses of melamine. So the uses. It is used in making unbreakable crockery, making unbreakable crockery in a sense. So when a, you throw it from a height also, it will not break. They are unbreakable because there is a cross-linking between them. The molecules are tightly packed. The arrangement, the layers are tightly packed. They are linked with each other and they are so hard that you cannot break them when you throw them even from a great height. So it is used for making unbreakable crockery tenaces. It is also used for making decorative articles or decorative items. Why? Why? Because uh, nowadays we see that a lot of items are made from plastic. They are highly decorative and they look very nice when kept. And even uh, when they fall down also, it's not that uh, very, it's not very, means it does not hurt us a lot. It falls, then also it doesn't break. So it is very convenient for us to buy this type of decorative items and keep them. And the third, uh, generally melamine is, uh, you know that all plastics, they melt when they come in contact with fire. But melamine is such that uh, the clothes of the fireman, the dress or the uniform of the fireman is coated with melamine. Okay, costume or uniform fireman 
are coated with are coated with melamine this is one of the very important use of melamine that it does not melt even at high temperatures in fire so it is used for coating the uniform of fireman so these are some important properties of melamine and its uses the second plastic which we are going to discuss is bakelite now bakelite is was first made by leo bakelite leo bakelite he was the first to synthesize bakelite and due to this his name the polymer was called bakelite okay so now what is the important thing about bakelite first it is also a thermosetting plastic then it is also formed by condensation of two monomers condensation of formaldehyde and phenol it is formed by the condensation of phenol and formaldehyde it is also a cross linked polymer the cross linked polymer is hard whereas the linear linked polymer that is the linear polymer is soft so bakelite can exist as well as soft bakelite and a hard bakelite so hard bakelite is basically cross linked polymer and soft bakelite is the linear polymer okay so uh, these are these are the important properties of bakelite the next property of bakelite is that it is hard it is very hard and uh, durable it is very hard and durable okay so due to this it is used at various places i will see the uses uses of bakelite now bakelite has a wide range of uses it is used for making handles of utensils it is used for making the switches electrical boards and plugs and plugs it is used it is also used for making formica table tops that is the plastic tables you see the tops which are very hard are unbreakable that is the formica table tops it is also used for making fountain pen electrical gadgets combs etc now the soft bakelite is used for making paints varnishes and lacquer so these are some important uses of bakelite the two thermo types thermosetting plastics we have studied their uses now we will deal with thermo plastics the important thermo plastic which we use in a daily life third thermo plastic is pet pe means poly ethylene terephthalene the monomer unit of this is ethylene and terephthalic acid this is these are the monomer units the monomers are ethylene and terephthalic acid which combine to form by the which combine to form polyethylene terephthalate and it is also a condensation reaction they are formed by a condensation reaction so they condensate they condense and form polyethylene terephthalate that is pet okay this is the monomer unit of pet now what are the important uses of pet so use bottles containers of microwave or microproof containers containers of microwave or you can say microwave proof containers are made of pet other food storage containers are also made by pet as it is not reactive it does not react and it's very safe for keeping food of any type another use of pet it is also used for making it is also used for making plastic wares that is you can say tables buckets or uh, the mugs used all those types of things are made up of pet then the next which we are going to discuss the next which we are going to discuss the next which we are going to discuss the next type of polymer plastic is pp that is polypropylene here the monomer unit is propylene and it is formed by the addition reaction now the uses of polypropylene it is also used for making ketchup bottles medicine bottles ball the next type of polymer which we use in our daily life polypropylene that is P. the monomer unit for polypropylene propylene by the condensation of the propylene unit polypropylene is formed uses uses polypropylene is used for making ketchup bottles medicine bottles polypropylene is also used 
for making hardware. The next which we are going to discuss is polyvinyl chloride that is PVC. PVC is formed by the monomer unit that is uses. It is used for making sanitary pipes and where we require large amount of water and for long distances there as water pipes also. It's also used for making water pipes. Other things made from PVC are simple rod. Next is polystyrene. Oh, it is also called styrone. Now the monomer unit for styrone is styrene. It is also called as vinyl benzene. If you want to see the structure, the structure looks like this. So when this styrene is the only monomer which is used and when this styrene combines together and molecules of styrene combine then polyvinyl styrene is formed. Uses. Basically polystyrene is used for making thermocol. So thermocol is made from polystyrene. Thermocol is used for making disposable glasses. Secondly polystyrene is also used for making thermocols for carrying packaging of required for packaging of fragile items. Like it is used in the packaging of electrical items such as TV sets, refrigerators, machines, etc. So polystyrene is also used in our daily life. Then the next which we are going to discuss, the next which we are going to discuss is polythene. Now the polythene can be of two types, that is high density polythene and low density polythene. It is symbolized by H D P E and low density is symbolized as LD. Both types have different uses so we see the use. The high density polythene is used for making bottles or containers for carrying chemicals such as acids, bleaches, bases, liquid detergents. Whereas the, whereas the low density polythene is used for making poly bags, grocery bags. Secondly, low density polythene is also used for making wrapping plastic. Basically, these are the important uses of the important type of plastic and their use. The monomer unit for polythene is ethene or ethylene, that is CH2 double O CH. So now we have completed some important type of plastic and their uses.